Hello everyone, welcome to Impulse Academy and today we will be starting the second part of the polynomial and we will start with the topic that is zeros of the polynomial. Now what are the zeros of the polynomial? So to find the zeros of the polynomial, let's take an example that is of x square minus 3x minus 4 equal to 0. Okay, and we can consider it is as px. Okay, so px means a polynomial in terms of x that is x square minus 3x minus 4. Okay, so now what you need to do is you need to find the value of px, find the value of px when x equals to minus 1 and when x equals to 4. Okay. So in this both value we need to find the value of px. So let's find the value. We will substitute uh, x equals to minus 1. So we will write here polynomial ki jage jo x tha wahan par humne minus 1 substitute kiya. So now we will substitute minus 1 on whole, the exp whole expression. So it will be minus 1 the whole square 3 into minus 1 and 4. Okay. So now we will find that. So square of minus 1 will be 1 then minus into 3 that is minus 3 and minus minus is plus so this will be plus 3 okay because 3 into minus 1 is minus 3 and minus 1 into minus 3 into 3 that is plus 3 and then minus 4 so the finally we will get the value 4 minus 4 that is equals to 0 okay now also we will find when x equals to 4 so p in the terms when we substitute the value of x as 4 we will get 4 square minus 3 into 4 minus 4. So this will be 16 minus, this will be 12 minus 4. So this will be 16 minus 16. So it will also be 0. So now we can say that minus 1 and 4 are the zeros of the polynomial polynomial x square minus 3x minus 4 okay so these are called the zeros of the polynomial so this value pe ye pura expression zero ho zai okay so that value that is minus 1 and 4 they are called the zeros of the polynomial okay so we have find this so now we'll uh, move to the next topic that is relationship between the zeros and the coefficient of the polynomial so we'll take the previous example that is of uh, x square minus 3x minus 4 that is the quadratic polynomial and we have found that, that there are two zeros that is minus 1 and 4 hamesha quadratic equation hogi to do zero hogi cubic equation hogi to teen zero hogi aur agar uh, linear equation hogi to hamesha one zeros hoga theek hai to ab baat karte hain apan ki uh, in the which relationship kya hoti hai? So sum of zeros have a relationship with the minus of coefficient of x upon coefficient of coefficient of x square. Okay. So basically there is a relationship between these zeros. Okay. This minus 1 and 4 with the coefficient so let's say the coefficient if we write the standard equation ax square minus bx minus plus bx plus c equal to 0 so basically the uh, standard equation is ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0 okay now according to that if we see the sum of the zeros some of the zeros are minus 1 and 4 we can also call some of the zeros as roots of the polynomial okay so sum of the polynomial uh, sorry zeros of the polynomial and the roots of the polynomial is the same thing okay so we denote the roots with the alpha and beta also okay we denote the zeros with the alpha and beta also okay root bolo ya zeros bolo baat ek hai okay so alpha and beta is equals to minus of coefficient of x so coefficient of x is b so that is minus of b upon coefficient of x square coefficient of x square is a so this is a okay now how this relationship works c if alpha we considered alpha as minus 1 and beta as 4 aap isko 
अब माइनस वन को बीटा भी अज्यूम कर सकते हो और अल्फा को फोर भी अज्यूम कर सकते हो कुछ भी अज्यूम कर सकते हो आंसर विल बी सेम सो नाउ अल्फा विल बी माइनस वन सो माइनस वन प्लस बीटा इज फोर ओके सो इफ यू कैलकुलेट दिस दिस विल बी प्लस थ्री ओके प्लस थ्री नाउ इफ यू सी हियर इट विल बी माइनस ऑफ बी वॉट इज बी हियर बी इज माइनस थ्री ओके माइनस एंड देन थ्री अपॉन वॉट इज ए ए हेयर इज वन बिकॉज नथिंग इज रिटर्न सो दैट मीन्स इट इज वन सो दिस इज वन सो बेसिकली प्लस थ्री इज इक्वल टू प्लस थ्री सो दिस इज हाउ वी सी द रिलेशनशिप ओके सो द रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन द जीरोज एंड द बेसिकली कॉफिशियंट ऑफ एक्सक्वायर इज लाइक दिस दिस इज द सम ऑफ द पॉल नंबर सो नाउ सी द प्रोडक्ट ऑफ द जीरोज सो प्रोडक्ट ऑफ द जीरोज मीन्स जीरोज इज आर द अल्फाइन बेटा सो प्रोडक्ट ऑफ जीरो फर्स्ट वर्ड्स में लिख देते हैं प्रोडक्ट ऑफ जीरो किसके बराबर होता है इट इज इक्वल टू कॉन्स्टेंट टर्म अपॉन कोफिशियंट ऑफ कोफिशियंट ऑफ एक्स स्क्वायर ओके so that means we can write here constant the constant term is here c okay c upon coefficient of x square is a so we can write a and the product of zeros means alpha into beta now alpha into beta okay so this is the relationship between both these okay so if we solve this example with this then alpha is minus 1 So minus one into beta is four. Okay. Now c is here minus four. So c is minus four upon alpha is. So a is a is one here. Okay. The value of a is one. So we can say that minus four is equals to minus four upon one upon one. So basically we have proved this relationship. So there is a question in exercise two point two in class ten to verify this relationship. So we need to do it like this. So let's start the question. that is of exercise 2.2 of class 10 and question number is first and the part number is 3 that is 6x square minus 3 minus 7x okay in this we need to find the zeros also and then we need to verify with the uh, relationship of the zeros and the coefficient of the polynomials okay that alpha and beta so now let's see first we need to find the alpha and beta zeros are means roots or alpha beta okay so to find that we need to arrange it properly how see 6x square minus 7x minus 3 equals to 0. Okay, so because our standard equation is in this form, a x square minus b sorry plus b x plus c equals to 0. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to uh, middle term splitting. We use we need to use the middle term splitting to find the zeros. Okay, so how we need use the middle term? The rule is uh, first we multiply the constant term. With the coefficient of x square, if there is any, so here it is six x square. So we need to multiply the constant term with the six. So how we multiply? See, six into three is eighteen. So we need to factor of eighteen two nine three three one. Okay. So these are the factors two three and three. Now we need to bring the minus seven. So how can we bring minus seven? First we'll multiply three into three. That is nine, and nine minus two is seven. But we need to bring minus seven, so we'll consider bigger number as nine. So what we'll write six x square minus nine x plus two x plus two x q plus two x is liye, because we have to minus me lana hai. So these two minus will be only when one negative will be and one positive will be. So now we have to minus it, so minus seven x will come. We had to bring this. So we have got the answer. Now what we need to do is this is the Factors we have done. Now take the common part from these two terms. First two terms and last two terms. So first two terms will the common part will be three and x because both are multiplied with three. So and x is common for both. So three x will be common. So the remaining part will be two x minus three. Okay, two x minus three. Now what you will do is we'll take the here it is three. I have mistakenly write two, so it is minus three here in the question. So now. What will we do? We'll take common as one. One is common because there is nothing common in these two terms. Minus two x and three. There is no nothing is common. 
and the after taking common one we'll write the term as it is okay now in this whole we'll take 2x minus 3 and 2x minus 3 common pura baad le lenge so that will be 2x minus 3 and the remaining part will be 3x plus 1 so that will be bring in the bracket 3x plus 1 is equals to 0 okay the simple calculation now will both the term will be equate with the 0 so 2x minus 3 equal to 0 so that will be 2x equals to 3 ko either base do that will be 3 positive 3 because either i got a sign change over okay now x is equals to 3 upon 2 which is 2 tha many upon base do so humko ek 0 mil gaya ya ek root mil gaya ya ek alpha mil gaya so alpha ya beta jo bhi naam le sakte ho wo mil chuka hai ab isko bhi equate kar lo 0 ke sath 3x plus 1 equal to 0 so 3x equals to minus 1 so x equals to minus 1 upon 3 so these are our alphas and beta so 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 we have found that alpha is equals to aap kisi ko bhi alpha beta le sakte ho aapki ichha so i am taking alpha as 3 by 2 and beta as minus 1 by 3 okay now we need to verify so verification how we need to do verification let's see okay we know that alpha plus beta is equals to minus b by a that is the first verification so we need to solve this and this to bring it equal okay so alpha here is 3 by 2 and beta here is plus of then bracket by minus 1 by 3 and we know that minus b the b here is minus 7 so we'll take minus 7 and a is 6 so we need to write here 6 so according to this this will become positive minus minus positive and 7 by 6 okay now this we need to calculate this 3 by 2 minus 1 by 3 take 6 as lcm 6 will be lcm so it will be 3 as it is and into 3 minus 3 into 2 so this will become uh, 2 here okay because 3 2 is a 6 and then into 1 that is 2 agar kisi ko samajh mein nahi aaya to ek bar ek kaam karo wapas dekh lete hain 3 by 2 into 6 minus 1 by 3 into 6 upon 6 aise ye solve hota hai theek hai lcm ka matlab ye hota hai 2 1 the 2 3 the now 3 3 is a 9 and 3 1 the 3 2 the so it will be minus 2 upon 6 so this will become 7 by 6 and this will also become 7 by 6 and 7 by 6 hence we have proved the verification okay now another verification we need to do that is product wala alpha into beta is equals to c by a okay so now alpha here is 3 by 2 so 3 by 2 into beta here is minus 1 by 3 now the constant term the constant term is minus 3 so we'll write minus 3 and the a is 1 okay so a is 1 here sorry 6 a is 6 here okay so we'll write 6 here so just 3 ones are 3 twos are so it will, it will come minus 1 by 2 and here it will come 3 3 cancel minus 1 by 2 hence we have proved that both the verification and the values of alpha beta also so this is how we need to do the calculation and we need to verify this now let's head towards the next question that is 2.2 page number 33 of ncrt and question number is second and the part number is uh, second okay now in this what we need to do is the question is saying that we need to find the quartic polynomial so we need to find the quartic polynomial that is ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0 okay so to find the quartic polynomial we need to find the value of a b and c and that we can find with the relationship between the zeros and the coefficient of polynomials so we'll use that trick to find the uh, quadratic polynomial okay now for that they have given us two values that is sum of the zeros so sum of the zeros means according to the question sum of the zeros means alpha plus beta is ko plus karne ke baad ki value nun de rikhi, that is root 2 okay now and this value that is product of zeros so matlab alpha into beta that is given as 1 by 3 okay so we know that now see what they what they what we wanted to do 
now we know that alpha plus beta that is equals to minus v by a okay and alpha into beta is equals to 1 by sorry c by a which is given here is 1 by 3 and this is given as root 2 okay so we need to see that the value of a should be same both the side so here a is 3 here a is nothing is given so that is 1 but here it is 3 so what we can do is either sub dono ko 1 kar do ya dono ko 3 kar do so making 3 is much better because we will multiply 3 here also and here also so by this it becomes 3 root 2 upon 3 and this a has become minus b by a so a has become 3 so we can say that the value of a is 3 the value of b here is value of b here is minus b ko minus ko either base do so it will be minus 3 root 2 compare kar lo isko isse compare kar lo isko isse compare kar lo so the value of b will be minus 3 root 2 and the value of c we can compare this that c is also 1 so c ki value 1 aagai a ki value 3 aagai and b ki value minus 3 root 2 aagai kaise aai hai wapis se dekhte hai alpha plus beta minus b by a hota hai jiski value unhoan dhe rakhi root 2 ab यहाँ पर इन्होंने अल्फा इंटू बीटा दे रखा है सी बाय ए दैट इज वन बाय थ्री सो ए यहाँ पर थ्री है यहाँ पर ए वन है तो हमको दोनों को सेम करना होता है तो सेम करने के लिए आपको इजी रेयर रहेगा कि आप दोनों मल्टीप्लाई एंड डिवाइड बाय थ्री कर लो उससे कुछ फर्क नहीं पड़ता है क्योंकि मल्टीप्लाई एंड डिवाइड बाई काटोगे तो वन आ जाएगा सो हम क्या करते हैं इसको मल्टीप्लाई डिवाइड बाई करते हैं थ्री रूट टू अपॉन थ्री आ गया इससे ए ए दोनों तरफ कॉमन आ गया सो ए इक्वल टू थ्री सी इक्वल टू वन आ गया कंपेयर कर लिया और बी इक्वल टू माइनस थ्री बाई टू अब ये सारी वैल्यू यहाँ पर सब्सिट्यूट कर लो ए बी सी के अंदर स्टैंडर्ड इक्वेशन के अंदर ये स्टैंडर्ड इक्वेशन है इसके अंदर ए बी सी की वैल्यू सब्सिट्यूट करो देखते हैं कैसे करते हैं ए की वैल्यू क्या है थ्री ए की वैल्यू थ्री है सो थ्री ए एक्स स्क्वायर थ्री एक्स स्क्वायर अब बी की वैल्यू सब्सिट्यूट कर लो दैट इज माइनस थ्री रूट टू इंटू एक्स तो लिखना ही है अब सी की वैल्यू क्या है वन प्लस वन इक्वल टू जीरो सो बेसिकली दिस इज अवर क्वारिटिक पॉलिनॉम इतना ईजी क्वेश्चन था ओके okay, आपको यही निकालना था कि आपको क्वालिटिक पॉलिनोमल किस निकालना था कि कौन सा क्वालिटिक पॉलिनोमल है उसके लिए आपको ए बी सी की वैल्यू निकालने की सो आई होप आपको ये बहुत अच्छे से समझ में आया हो ओके सो थैंक यू फॉर कीप वॉचिंग कीप सब्सक्राइबिंग टू माई चैनल एंड ऑल्सो प्रेस द बेल आइकन एंड शेयर विथ योर फ्रेंड्स थैंक यू